Okay, um, so this is going to be an example of um, pumping power. And we're going to use water for now. Um, but essentially the only difference is the density So for this equation. Um, and so if you had a fluid that was denser or less dense, for example, like oil, um, it would be a pretty, uh, pretty comparable to this calculation. So um, power um, is equal to um, basically the uh, volumetric flow uh, per unit time times the density of the fluid times uh, Earth's acceleration due to gravity, okay, acceleration due to gravity on Earth, which is 9.81 meters per second. You may recall from physics class, uh, potentially even in high school, um, times um, the head of the pipe that you're in. Um, this is a distance, um, and that's essentially it. And you have to just be careful of the units. So um, if, for example, we have um, um, fluid that's traveling um, one meter cubed per hour, that's the volumetric flow rate, um, and the density of our fluid is uh, water, so a thousand kilograms per meter cubed. Um, and we know that G is 9.81 um, meters per second squared in acceleration. Um, and let's pick um, a distance of 10 meters. We want to pump our fluid up 10 meters essentially. Um, what we end up with one meter cubed per hour times the density is a thousand kilograms per meter cubed and those cancel um, times 9.81 meters per second squared and uh, oops um, meters did not cancel with anything yet. Sorry about that. Um, and our distance is 10 meters. So you can see here in the numerator we have kilograms meters squared per second squared. There's the kilograms meters squared and second squared. Um, kilogram meters squared per second squared is equal to a joule unit of energy. Um, we also have um, time still in the denominator um, over here. So um, if we have joules per time, that's power, but we need a conversion factor. We need to say that um, one hour is 3600 seconds so then we can cancel hours and we're left with seconds and a joule per second um, also a joule per second is equal to a watt so um, we get it in watts if we do that so when we multiply all of those pieces together um, handy dandy calculator here. Uh, 1000 times 9.81 times 10 meters divided by 3600. Um, divided by 3600. That would be the error I just typed in my calculator. Um, for all I know, you've actually already done this quicker than I have. You end up with 27.25 watts as your pumping power to achieve that flow rate of one 
meter cubed of fluid per hour. That's the continuous pumping power required to do that. So, you know, just real quick here, um, if we wanted to know the energy, say, over a four hour period, um, 27 and a quarter watts for four hours is um, 109 watt hours or 0 0.11 kilowatt hours of energy. Um, so in this case, um, we weren't pumping too fast. Uh, one meter cubed per hour is not that high of a rate. We weren't pumping it very far either, only 10 meters up against gravity. Um, so uh, it's a pretty low cost, low energy um, result. But uh, as you scale that up over, say, a, uh, an entire mm, multiple acres of collectors or whatever, you would uh, definitely see high pumping costs. Thanks.